okay three things i want to share with you in this video and i will make it really quick so do not go anywhere hi my name is demi this is let's have tea it's my podcast channel about everything and anything so if you check in tomorrow and you see me having a conversation about cheese just roll with it okay just roll with it three thoughts i want to share with you these are three thoughts that have changed how i navigate the world and i want to share them with people because i realized recently how powerful they've been in rewiring my brain and how i do the things that i do the first thought is i am not a victim now when i was younger and i really wish younger me knew this i used to navigate the world with the sense of things are beyond my control i can't do anything about it someone treats me poorly well you know that's just them treating me poorly i'll just let it be and i'll leave them alone and i'll go live my own life i was non-confrontational for the most part um and i just like leave this life it was like things are happening to me i don't really have any power over anything but one day i was on a train ride and it was like a two hour train ride and i decided to read the gift by edith egger which i hope is the right book because she's written quite a few i read that book and the one message that stood out from that book was you are not a victim and i started to ask myself actually come to think of it i am I, why am i acting like things are not with it like they're things i can't address it's that sense of thinking things happen to us and we walk around with a victim identity when really we should be asking ourselves why we are not happening to things she didn't put that in the book that's my interpretation of it because ever since i read that i started to tell myself things aren't just happening to me i can happen to things as well i am not at the mercy of anything i can decide my fate i can actually tell myself this is what's going to happen and if it doesn't work out that way i will know i tried rather than sit fold my arms and be like uh, this is happening to me and it has changed everything it's changed my friendships with people back in the day if people hurt my feelings and they apologize that they're like oh it's okay but i might still be a little bit spiteful on the inside or resentful because i'm thinking to myself i can't believe they did this but now to not feel resentful i will tell them this is what you did how you made me feel and i did not like it and for that reason i think we should have some space in our relationship and when i tell you that some people were shook by this they were shook but really it's given me a lot of peace and i'm not saying please do this to everybody who does something to hurt you i'm just saying have the idea or the understanding rather that you are not a victim things happen to you you can also happen to things the second thought is i have nothing to lose ever since i started to think that the things i go after the things i pursue the kinds of work i would go after the kinds of projects i would work with the kinds of people i would just walk up and talk to changed because i often tell myself what's what's the worst that could happen so before i started to have this thought of i had nothing to lose i was a, an analyzer like i would analyze things to the death i have a phd in engineering so when i tell you i would analyze things to the death i would weigh the benefits i would weigh the risks and i would go to the worst possible death and when i get there i get into a state of what i call analysis paralysis so i end up not being able to do anything but me now as an adult I am in that state of mind where it's like whatever is important to me I will pursue it and I will act as if I don't have anything to lose by pursuing it if the worst comes to the worst I will be where I am right now and that works for me just fine the third thing is I am good enough believe it or not that is a revolutionary thought 
And I don't think many of us realize how thinking that on a daily basis can change our lives. Now think about the fact that so many of us pursue difficult things because we are trying to prove ourselves. We're trying to prove ourselves to mom and dad. We're trying to prove ourselves to the community. We're trying to prove ourselves to people who like us or the people we like. We're trying to prove ourselves to everybody and everything and everywhere because we do not think we are good enough. Yes, that's the root of it. But the moment you start to tell yourself, I am good enough, everything changes. Like I don't need to prove anything. When I was younger, I would choose the most difficult tasks because it made me feel as though I was showcasing what I was made of. I was showcasing how good I was at math, at calculus, how good I was at physics and all of those things. I would pick things that were outside of my natural talents simply because I wanted to prove myself and show that I could fit into this other world. But the moment I started to tell myself, no, I'm good enough, it has streamlined my vision so perfectly you would not believe it. I now have great focus on the things I actually want to pursue. And this is not to say don't do hard things because a lot of the time when you tell yourself you're good enough, it means you're pursuing the things that are coming naturally to you and things that you're looking to improve at. And you might not want to step into other things that are difficult. I still step into difficult things every now and then, but I often ask myself why? Why am I stepping into this difficult thing and why am I taking it on? If I'm taking it on because it's the thing that will get me to the result I need to get, happy to do it. If I'm stepping into it because I'm trying to prove myself, trying to make myself look good enough, Proving yourself at work is a whole different story. Like you might want to say, oh, I want my manager to see that I'm learning new skills. That's a whole different story. But if it's one of those, I'm trying to prove myself so that people look at me and they say, oh, how amazing she can do that. If you're trying to do it for validation, it is not worth it. You are good enough. If people are not accepting you the way you are, there's no point. There's no point, you're in the wrong crowd. Like just pack up and go find your people. Don't waste your time. I spent a lot of time in the midst of people who made me feel like I wasn't good enough all throughout my studies, even throughout childhood. And I would try my best to prove that I was doing the right thing. And I was this person with this difficult skill, even though it was a skill I didn't enjoy. Like I spent so much time pursuing skills I did not enjoy that I did not nurture the skills I did enjoy. And now that I tell myself I am good enough, I no longer feel the need to do that. I no longer feel the need to go and perform whenever I meet somebody new. I am just Demi. You meet me, you chat with me. What you see is what you get. Like I'm not hiding anything from you. I don't even have the energy to work it up because I'm telling myself I'm good enough. I will expend my energy on